Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Greg Deutsch with Soccer Village. Today, I am with Isaac Nelson, the Director of Soccer Development at Athletes in Action. Thank you, Isaac, for joining us. Uh, first, can you tell our followers, what is Athletes in Action? Yeah, thanks, Greg. It's good to be here. And Athletes in Action is a global sports organization that we use sports to equip leaders and make an impact, combat combat systemic issues um, all across the globe through sport. And so we're in over 60 countries. We work with uh, college students as well and over 200 college campuses throughout the US. And then uh, we also provide uh, chaplaincy in the MLS and USL. Um, tell us a little bit about um, you know, where you're located. Um, you know, you're not in Dayton, but you're close to Dayton. So share with us you know, you're in a city called Xenia, how far it's from Dayton, how far from Cincinnati, and, and, and why are you guys in Xenia? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So our organization, being a global organization, we really have locations all over the world. But with anything, you know, we have a global headquarters, uh, just like most global organizations. And it's located in Xenia of all places, because we were given a property with the vision to build a sports complex that served as sort of a home base for all of our operations where we can host international teams, host tournaments, and train coaches and athletes uh, there on our campus. So we have a large facility with fields, uh, weight room, indoor training space, classrooms, dorms, so that we can um, host and equip coaches and athletes from around the world. So yeah. Yeah, exciting, you know, that you're that close to, you know, Cincinnati and Dayton. Tell us about your role with Athletes in Action and the programs that you are actually involved with. Yeah, so as the Director of Soccer Development, I am coming up with uh, creative ideas to fill in and supplement the things that we already do. So with the co college athletes that we serve, the college coaches, the pro players and uh, coaches, figuring out community uh, involvement projects that that allow those athletes and coaches that we work with to serve, to give back, to help meet needs and solve systemic issues all around the globe. So, for instance, uh, Dayton Soccer is a project that we created where we provide quality, affordable sports programs for kids that typically couldn't afford them or get transportation to them and a lot of college uh, coaches and athletes volunteer in that program. And then through sports, we provide tutoring, after school programs, mentorship programs, clothes and food donations. So through sport, meeting so many of their, of their needs. And so that's one example of uh, some of the things that we're doing to think creatively of how can we uh, create solutions to serve uh, people through sport. Can you share uh, maybe a story of a child or a few children who have been impacted with your program? Yeah, yeah. I love this story of a girl named Habiba, who is one of the toughest people I have ever met. As the oldest daughter, she's often has a tremendous responsibility in a single parent home of caring for her siblings and she was not quick to smile. She was very tough on the soccer field, but she would come out and, and we provided transportation for her. And every week uh, she would wanna sit up uh, towards the front of the van and talk with me. And over the course of each week, I noticed a softening and a start to smile. And by the middle point of the season, she was just known for being a jokester and having fun. She'd be the first person at the stop to get picked up. She'd be the last one to, to leave. We'd have to go looking at the park and finding her because she'd be playing with friends. And I think that's just a, a great, her story is a great one of how uh, so often there, these, these kids have so much thrust on their shoulders at an early age that even though she's 13, 14 years old, that she really has the responsibility of an adult thrown on her. But that through sports, she gets to be a kid again. She gets to have fun. And the layers of, of that responsibility get to be shed that she can um, 
grow and build friendships and community that really are so will enable her to grow and, and heal from some of the things that she's encountered early on in her life. Yeah, what, what a great story with a lot of impact that you provided, you know, being able to set up um, all the things to make her get to that point. Um, very, very, what, what, just a great feeling that you're doing there. Um, how can um, individuals help or volunteer with Athletes in Action? Yeah, so you can go to our website, athletesinaction.org, and you'll see we are involved in a lot of different things around the world. So depending on where you are, you are, there might be different opportunities in a variety of sports, particularly in soccer. Uh, if you're around the, the Dayton, Cincinnati, Columbus area, there's plenty of opportunities to get involved with our uh, community soccer um, program. And you could check that stuff out at Dayton.soccer. And uh, you also, uh, Greg, feel welcome to share my information. I'd love to talk with people. We have a variety of opportunities, whether you're a player, you're a coach, and even if you're not uh, one of those things, we have a lot of people that help with the, the water station, transporting kids, and even kids, uh, people that volunteer with the tutoring of the kids and things like that. So uh, you can contact me personally or go to athletesinaction.org or www.dayton.soccer. The last thing I want to share with people is, you know, before we got on this uh, Zoom call, you provided us with some exciting news uh, about Athletes in Action on what they're going to do, uh, quote unquote, at home. Um, so expand a little bit about that because this is brand new and it's sort of an adjustment from where you were hosting a lot of these kids. So tell everybody, you know, the exciting news of what's about to happen. Yeah. So one of the exciting things that's happened over the course of the last couple of years, as we've run this program is just identifying some of, some of these kids have are really gifted and could have the opportunity to be the first people in their family to go to college through earning a college scholarship. And we want to create an environment for them where they are in a, a good spot to develop and grow to have that opportunity uh, while still meeting the needs of a lot of uh, kids that recreational sport is a way that they can connect and build friendship. So we're going to continue to uh, offer the, the community program in downtown Dayton at a local park where any kid can be a part of it. But we are picking out uh, several kids, a, a group groups of kids that really have a chance to make it to the collegiate level. And we're starting a sort of club program where they'll have uh, college uh, soccer coaches spending time with them, club coaches and uh, sports performance coaches, giving them what they need to develop to become collegiate athletes. And then these uh, players will be playing in teams in uh, college showcase events and things so that they can have the opportunity to be seen and make it to the next level. Yeah, how, how exciting for you as you, you know, move on and expand your programs. So again, thank you, Isaac, for joining us today. And again, for more information on Athletes in Actions or ways you can help, please visit the link on your screen. Thank you again, Isaac, for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.